Hello, watch this question reads that two blocks A and B, each of mass M, are connected by a massless spring of natural length capital L and spring constant K. The blocks are initially resting on a smooth horizontal door with spring at its natural length, as shown in the figure. A third identical block C, also of mass M, moves on door with a speed small v along the line joining AB and collides with elastically with A. Then, option A, kinetic energy of AD system at maximum compression of the spring is zero. The kinetic energy of the AB system at maximum compression of the spring is mv squared by 4. Option C, maximum compression of the spring is v into root over m by k. Maximum compression of the spring is v into root over m by 2k is option D. So, first we need to know the key concept, which are conservation of momentum. According to conservation of momentum, when there are no external forces applied, the total momentum of a system remains conserved. That is, momentum before and after collision of a system remains same. Second concept is conservation of energy. According to conservation of energy, total energy of an isolated system remains conserved. And lastly, we use the concept of elastic potential energy. Elastic potential energy of a spring equals to half k into x square, where k is the spring constant and x is in this case compression. Okay, now we use this concept to solve the question. First, we apply conservation of momentum and can write m into small v equals to m into capital V plus m into capital V, where capital V is the speed of block A and B after block C collides elastically with A. Before collision, A and B was at rest and after collision, C is at rest, okay? So from here, we can see from both sides of the equation, M gets cancelled out and we have small v equals to 2 into capital V. So capital V equals to, we can write small v by 2. Now, small v equals to 2 into capital V, that is capital V equals to small v by 2. Okay. Now we use the conservation of energy and can say half into M into small v square, kinetic energy of block C equals to half into small m into capital V square plus half m capital V squared. These two are the kinetic energies of block B and C, A and B plus half kx squared. This is the elastic potential energy of the spring. So half gets cancelled out from both sides and we have m into small v equals to m capital V squared plus m capital V squared. They, that gives us 2m capital V squared plus half kx squared. Sorry, this will be kx squared. Now, we can put capital V equals to small v by 2 and we get m into small v square plus 2m small v by 2 is the whole square plus kx square. In the next line, we have m into small v square plus 2 into m into small v square by 4 plus kx square. Now, mv square minus mv square by 2 as 2 say 4 ko cut kare to humko 2 milta hai equals to kx square so kx square equals to we have mv square by 2 so x square equals to mv square by 2k x equals to root under mv square by 2k so v square root ka bahar a jata hai and we have small v into m by 2k right so the maximum compression is v into m by 2k which is option d so option d is correct now we need to find the maximum kinetic energy at maximum compression of the spring which is half m into v square plus half m into v square that is equal to half m small v by 2 so the whole square plus half m small v by 2 square we have half m v square by 4 plus half m v square by 4 that is m v square by 4 so this is the maximum kinetic energy for a v system at maximum compression So we can see option B matches our conclusion. So option B is also true. Hope you have understood it well and wish of luck.